Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to continue where we left off from our last video and begin the mission of Rook Meets King. So we have to fly to Jupiter's moon and meet on the Estrella with our contact. So we're just going to travel over. Wow. Look who finally had the guts to show up. Looks like Adler finally did something right for once. All right, let's accept her. So, big shot. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. I hate funny. Remember that. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Ragana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. <laughs> this job isn't about the loop, but I suppose every dog needs its scraps. Keep whatever worthless junk is on that ship. Just remember, the only thing that matters is that Rake dies. All right, consider it done. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. All right, now we have to find the ship. And it's in the soul system, so let's head over to this moon, I assume. That's where she said to go. So let's travel over there. Gonna have to kill someone. stopped and then the ship just keeps going forward. sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? I 
I will not murder a man in cold blood. You will have to kill us all first. Turn them into a murderer. Sam, sis death. Or attack them all and kill everyone anyway. What a choice. Trying not to really kill anyone, but... How do I know that that cover will stay intact? Whereas if I convinced them to do it, then it was like I was never there and they did it on their own. Um, I'll try to be a good guy on this one. It's possible. You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. Who's gonna say he's gonna do that anyways? He's probably already got a record or something. No, that was too risky. First you offer peaceful solution, and now you make threats. I am not sure I trust you at all. You are asking me to betray my own crew. I do want to find a solution here. Maybe so, but that does not make it easy. All right, all right, I will do it. I've got no love for the fleet, and if Rake was one of them, my loyalties with him end. But if I do this, you have to promise to spare the rest of the crew and leave the supplies for New Homestead. Is that all it takes for you to flip on me, Dimitri? Unbelievable. It is either you or all of us, Austin. I am sorry. Cut the crap in you. <laughs> you know, I almost bought it. All that crap about helping people and making a difference. <sighs> but at the end of the day, you're no different from the fleet. When push comes to shove, you only care about yourself. Oh, oh, he forgot. Oh, fuck, he still killed me. I can't believe that happened. Damn. This is terrible. I don't even know what to say. Is Austin really a member of the fleet? But he seemed so normal. Well, someone's a new captain now. Still killed him anyways. I wonder if he was gonna kill everybody on board. If I just let that unfold. Oh well, let's work. go back to the cockpit. Let's undock. Let's head back to the Estrella. Clamps released. Well, that was interesting.
get our move from the ship. Thanks for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control, but it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. He's dead. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up, and I wind up looking like an asshole? I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. You screw up bad enough, and I just might. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. All right. Oh shit, we gotta report back to Sistaff? Okay. Let's make the jump over to them. So we're gonna have to report back to them after every uh, every mission we do with the Crimson Fleet to debrief. That's interesting. I thought he told us you're cut off, like until the job's done. Why are we coming back Don't right away? That just looks too suspicious. But we'll see. Okay. Commander Ikande wants to see you. Follow me. Let's go, cadet. I had a friend on Ragana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on Shore Lake. You just might if he wasn't the captain. Or if your friend was... The fleet call us sharks. That they guy I had to kill, secret. then he's dead. And you're part of the Crimson Fleet. Your spy. Most of our operations team graduated top of their class. We received word you boarded the Ragana. I don't care if Rake was with the fleet. The pilot and his crew were not. What you did was uncalled for. I understand certain liberties must be taken to maintain your cover. But your core morality has to remain intact. If you let your role strip that away, you become one of them. You're of no use to me. Understood? Yep. Well said. Let's hope the next time your actions match the integrity of your words. Now I want to make this crystal clear. You do what you can to stay in the fleet. But there is an ethical line we cannot cross. Do something like this again, and you're out. Permanently. <sighs> but for now, we will continue with the briefing. Were you at least able to join the fleet? Then it worked. You're in. As distasteful as your methods were, at least you managed to complete the job. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. The woman has a record that could stretch across Sol and back. She started young as one of Neon Street Rats, and 
worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? <laughs> the Vigilance is equipped with one of the most advanced intelligence suites in the UC fleet. Nothing slips through. You can rest assured, if the Crimson Fleet had any access to our whereabouts or have infiltrated our security, we'd know. As long as you're here, your identity is safe. Excellent. If you're heading to the Key, I assume you'll be meeting Delgado soon. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Success and sounds happier than the beginning. But I don't know. I think killing him or having the crew kill him was the only option. Because that plan that the captain had about so convoluted and risky. Please disregard. I, I don't think it was possible to go through it without something leaking and coming back to me. Okay. I don't know if I'm the wrong way again. Damn it. Through here. Okay. So now we gotta head to the key and meet the top dog. The rook meeting the king. Sounded like some Minecraft music for a second there. We've detached. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's jump back. And they are not system it seems they're on cricks unexplored a route okay so I go here Jump there first, maybe. Then we might be able to jump from there. Or I have to discover that next system that connects the map to it. And then discover that system. Welcome to the Queen Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Well, not land anybody. Let's go back on the star map. Head to Cricks. Shit, okay, go here then. Oh shit. I'd 
rather it just be one time instead of having to jump multiple times. Oh shit. Look at their sun, it's huge. Now we can travel here. We gotta jump there now. Damn. Cricks. Let's fly closer. And we're at the key. The key acknowledging fleet vessel. Welcome home. Alright, let's dock. Docking complete. And let's board. To speak with Neva. Cut, you cut. Now get out of my face. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. He didn't take the body. I'm looting it. Let's talk to Neva. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? I had to jump like four fucking times for my ship. Maybe for you. I'd rather shove a shotgun up my nose than remember the face of every low-life rook who passes through this station. But, all that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Key. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Oh, well, I'll get right on that. A few plans, some throw pillows, and maybe this place will meet with your approval. Okay, sunshine. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key, but it's better if I show you too. Follow me. All right. All right, history time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, lock, key, uh, Q, huh? Okay, gotta go through that. So then this ship opened the prison, pretty much. That's what I'm getting from that. And that's how they all got out. Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. 
We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the luck. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook. Or you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault if people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. Don't even try right, to rip me you off. Got Bradley from I the know trade value authority. when I see it. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over, Over there, tour. you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Rape? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this Rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. Seems that and way. Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a right. proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. I see the bomb as a symbol of my importance, and it's a constant reminder to everyone of the sacrifice I was willing to make. The freedom I've given up, the pain, it's not something that just anyone has the resolve to bear. That's amusing. I don't think I've heard that one before. Oh wait, yes I have. You might as well dispense with all the stupid jokes. I've been hearing them for years. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, 
I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Essentially, but I sleep soundly knowing I'm one of the few that can piss Delgado off and live. Should I die, all of my knowledge, the accounts, the credits, it would be a mess. He wouldn't dare. He holds the trigger, but we all know that my death cripples the fleet. Call the bomb a weapon of last resort. Whew. That's a relief. And here I was, worried that you've come here to eventually replace me. Get with it, Rook. The only sacrifice you're going to be making is a portion of your credits to the fleet. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the Corps. Thanks to advanced modifications even Ryujin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There, you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Oh, you know, smuggling, piracy, taking things that aren't yours. Nothing that should keep you up at night. Well, depending on your methods. We're officially done here. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. All right. All right, Double listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. All right. Let's head up and meet the boss. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. You and everyone else on this station. Keep following orders and you'll get paid. It's as simple as that. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. 
Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. You forget the UC is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison. If we have Grix's legacy. Listen to the words that I am saying. The legacy is real. You will find that out in due time. Provided you're willing to put in the work. Nothing worth having ever comes easy. Let's do it. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. You got it. Rook meets King completed. Every time I see Red Lee smile, I want to punch him in the face. Now we got a new mission. Echoes of the past. All right, everyone. Well, we're going to go ahead and stop here. And we'll go ahead and continue during our next video with the Crimson Fleet. And begin the mission, Echoes of the Past. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thanks for watching this video today from Chunky Slot Gaming. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more playthroughs and future gameplay content. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave us a comment. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow us on social media, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. And as always, thanks for hanging around, and we'll see you on the next one.